Fighting childhood cancer will be the name of the game at a Positively Jacked event later this afternoon. You can brave a shave and go ball to raise money to help the St. Baldrick's Foundation. And joining us this morning are um, stylist Melissa Tedders and 15-year volunteer Mark Guerra. So good morning. Thank you guys very much for waking up with us. So one of the big things that people always see with these events, shaving the head. Melissa, talk to us about that. This is my first year organizing the event. Yeah. So I'm, it's been a lot of fun. Uh -huh. It took a rough start at first, but it's once we got the word out there, everything just seemed to fall into place. So what's the significance of shaving your head for this? You're standing in solidarity with okay. children going through chemo and radiation. Okay. And, Mark, you can talk to us more about the importance of St. Baldrick's. Um, why should people know about this organization? It, it, it needs to be spread that the amount of children in this country that are diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. is, a, is a very large number. Only 4% of all these children that are diagnosed will even survive. And there are some uh, uh, 300,000 children are diagnosed each year with cancer. That's like throughout the nation. Mm -hmm. and that's like uh, one every two minutes. So, Mark, you've been volunteering for 15 years. Can you sort of tell us like how you got involved with St. Baldrick's? When my child was born... I'm sitting there watching the television, watching the St. Jude's, mm -hmm. and I had tears running down my eyes as I'm holding on to my child, yeah. watching the suffering that all these kids are going through. And I couldn't pick up the phone fast enough to, uh, to help out. Mm -hmm. And then the St. Baldrick's organization, some years later, came by, and I've been with them ever since. I've gone to the extent of uh, just redone a vehicle to put their logo wow. on it. Wow. Um, we actually have it out front. We thought maybe we might be able to show it, but it's going to be at the event today, and it's going to travel anywhere there's an event. I can bring that vehicle. It's going to oh, go cool. there. So talk a little bit about the impact of St. Baldrick's. Um, the amount of money that this organization raises is a significant amount. They are unsponsored by any government entity. Uh, there's only like 4% of any government money ever goes for childhood cancer. These children are suffering. They're sick. They need to be looked after. We need to take care of them. They are our responsibility. We need to make things better for them. Uh, and the only way that this can happen is with an organization like the St. Baldrick Foundation to, uh, to raise the money to give them, you know, the, the, the treatment and the care that they need. And Melissa, with the shave -a how many people are you expecting to come out today for this? We've got a good response. We've had a Facebook page created for the event. Mm -hmm. And I think about 50 to 100. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of excitement that comes along with it, but there's also going to be some tears because people are going to have to say goodbye to their hair. Yeah. My seven-year-old son was the first to volunteer to shave his head. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's neat. How many of his friends were, um, has he been able to talk into joining him? Unfortunately, none. What? Yeah. No way. Okay, well, Melissa, thank you very much. Mark, thank you very much. Again, the event is this afternoon from 2 until 6. It's going to be at Jerry's Sport Grill and Steak on Atlantic Boulevard.